So I'm out here today in beautiful Laguna Beach, California, and I want to talk about something that I think is one of the most important skill sets with connecting with other people and dating and meeting beautiful women. It's one of the easiest skill sets, yet at the same time, if you don't have it, it could be one of the hardest, and that's listening. Listening is an art form that a lot of men just miss, and uh, it's a powerful art form. Matter of fact, when you get it, you're going to notice that you can talk very little, listen really well. Women will talk up a storm, and they'll just open up to you like crazy, and you can just relax. Yeah, you have to talk some, but in the listening, you're going to find that, mo that really most of the time, they're going to talk a lot more than you. Unless she's the type of girl that's quiet at first. I mean, every, you always get one of those. It's quiet at first and she wants you to talk until she gets comfortable and open up. But still, even in that case, listening is essential, okay? So I want to invite you into the art form of listening. What is listening? Well, a lot of guys think listening is the ability to repeat back everything a woman says. And honestly, that's not listening. That is a part of listening, but it's not listening in its whole. Um, if you can repeat back everything a woman says, and you've done it, and yet she gets mad at you, she says like, you're talking to a woman one day, you're talking to your girlfriend, you're talking to a girl you're dating, and you say, you, and she says to you, you know, you never listen, you never listen, and you say, yeah, I do, and then you repeat back everything she says, and she just gets madder and madder, well, then you're missing this one essential piece. It's very, very important, and that's the art of feeling. You see, real feeling for women, real listening for women, is the art of feeling their emotions when they talk. Feeling them through your body, the ability to open up in your nervous system, to relax down the core of your body, and actually take time to notice what she's feeling while she's talking, not just the words she says. Matter of fact, feeling what she's saying is more important than the words she says. Because you're gonna notice that when she's talking, that there's a subtle emotional emphasis on one word, or a few words, and that's something that's probably important to her, or maybe even something she's not realizing is important to her. And oftentimes I'll ask about that. I'll ask when I, when I notice that point. I'll hear her say something. <laughs> I'll hear her say something, and uh, somebody waving to me. I'll hear her say something, and I'll, um, and I'll say, wait, 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 wait a minute, I'll even interrupt. And I'll say, well, well what's going on with that? What, what, what is it about that piece right there? I'll give you an example of a client once that did this. I had a client once that was talking about things he loved, his passions in a workshop. And he was going on and on and on and he was talking for a while and he said something about this line on a painting and then he went on. But I heard it clearly, that line on the painting, something, there was something deep and emotional in that for him. So I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, back up. What, what is it about this line on the painting? He goes, what do you mean, it's just a line on a painting. But everybody else in the room goes, no, no, I heard it too. And so we dug into it a little bit and it was a painting he had done in high school that he had loved doing. He was passionate about. He, he loved painting, he loved being an artist. And so he did this painting in high school and what happened, what, what turned out was he didn't even know it, uh, but buried deep down inside was his desire to be an artist, to be a painter again. And he didn't even know it. Know it. But by us listening really well and paying attention to what he was saying, we picked up on the emotion around talking about this painting. And what ended up happening was fascinating. He started to talk about it more in the workshop and this passion started to come out of him about painting. And he started to talk more and more and he connected more to the idea. Well, over the years since that workshop, I can't tell you how many paintings, I don't think he could, that he's done. He's had gallery showings. He's, it, it's, it's really become a massive part of his life and it changed everything in his life about who he was, because he, he was missing his purpose or his sense of burning desire, and that was really in the art. It was in the painting of, this, of these paintings. So I want to invite you into paying attention. The little things matter. And when you notice that a woman, or, or anybody you're talking to for that matter, has an emotional investment in an idea or something they're saying, even if it's little and innocuous, that can be very important to them. Repeating back every detail of what they say isn't nearly as important as really listening to what they're saying. And you know what? People can tell when you're really listening. Women especially can tell when you're really listening, when you're really feeling what she's saying. And it changes the whole game. That's what makes her want to keep talking. And that's what makes her want to keep moving forward. I've even had experiences, and, and uh, so has Dave, my partner, 
where we're out and you would swear that we were asking all the questions like somebody who's like like somebody who's interviewing a girl you ever have that experience where you're just asking question after question she's like is this an interview but yet it doesn't feel like an interview to her she's doing all the talking you're just asking question after question but because you're so connected so feeling so listening to what she's saying she just keeps going and going and going and going so I want to invite you into listening practice it sit down and put it to work and all you have to do is sit and relax I'm a big proponent of meditation so start practicing if you meditate and you can feel your body pretty well all you have to do is relax into your body relax down the front of your body get out of your head and just pay attention when she's talking you'll notice emotions are there you'll notice if she's stressed if she's happy if she's curious if she's excited if she's appreciative and just listen to it you don't even have to say anything just the fact that you're noticing it she'll feel it Start with the cashier uh, at the grocery store. Start with the barista at the coffee shop. Just literally stop and say, how's your day going? And listen. And notice the difference that happens. Look her in the eyes and just relax. And notice what it feels like. Start with some good friends. Ask them, how's their day going? Really, tell me more about that. I'm curious. Why? And just listen. And ask from your body. You know, ask from your own emotions, your own actual curiosity. Now. If you're having trouble accessing your own emotions when you do this, you're having trouble feeling your own curiosity, your own appreciation, that kind of stuff, well, that's a different problem. And uh, that's something we can talk about uh, at a workshop or you can call one of our people because maybe you're so locked up in your head you just can't do this skill. And one of the things you can do to help fix that problem is meditation, learning to get in your body, movement, uh, yoga, um, anything that gets you deeper into your body. because we literally feel from our bodies. We feel from the, the, the core of our bodies, not from our heads. And so guys, if you're one of those guys that's locked up in your head, I'm gonna encourage you to start working on getting back in your body and start learning to feel. Because I'll tell you, when you come out to a beautiful environment like this, look at that out there, look, look at behind me, it's freaking gorgeous. And you can feel, you can feel all your emotions, you can feel your appreciation, your curiosity for life. You can feel your joy. Well, this stuff just affects you 10 times more. It's beautiful. And uh, I'm gonna take some time now in this video and go enjoy this sunset. So, as always, make sure you comment on the video below. I'd love to hear what you think. And remember, only the confident live. He doesn't even tell her best friend sometimes. Well, there's a secret key to that, and it's much simpler than you think. It's not about becoming a clever conversationalist. It's not about learning more words or clever things to say. It's about learning to listen. Very few people, let alone men, know how to listen. If you're doing good, you're feeling it. Probably when you're, doing, when you're really doing good, you're thinking the least. And that's true with almost anything. When you're really doing good, you're not thinking much. And how do you solve the problem of thinking? What is that? Because that's... that's what